So let's take a look at the 2024 Belmont Stakes. Clearly was a uh, another upset. Uh, yet again, another uh, horse, Doorknock, coming to the fore. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, this has just been a uh, wild, wide open, wild Triple Crown uh, season to be sure. Uh, one on the front end, and uh, we kind of thought that that was the place to be. Uh, didn't expect Doorknock to be the one doing it, but... Uh, Anyway, ran a really nice race, and uh, let's see what happened here. And you see outside there, you see mind frame uh, just kind of sliding Sierra Leone over across into Ana Maria a little bit. But uh, I don't know how consequential that was. Gets right into good position. And we thought Seize the Gray would, would be sent and was. And uh, we knew Dornark was going to be forwardly placed as well. So everybody's pretty much where we expected at this point. Uh, mind frame did get carried wide all the way around. But uh, just under 23 seconds flat. And the antiquarian the and the wine steward. Right and Mystic Dan hugging the, the rail. <laughs> Once again. Uh, it really didn't show up the at all. But third race in five weeks. At this is out of the that of Mystic Dan. Mystic Dan is now seven lengths off the lead. Another five lengths to protect it. Sierra Leone is allowed to go moderately at this stage. He has a lot see, of ground to make was, up uh, as usual. And on rating, the saving some ground. Had a good trip, but, you know, just really didn't have any excuses. Just didn't have anything in the tank. And I just don't think a mile and a quarter is what that horse really wants. Antiquarian trying to move up between rivals. Mind frame is see, just outside of it. It was the key to the race. I mean, Seize the Grey just couldn't settle because Doorknock was, you know, Doorknock was clearly the better horse and uh, had more in the tank, probably a little fresher. The wine steward is next. Mystic Dan is still still wide all the way around yet. Still had enough in the tank to make a run. And you see, look at look at Sierra Leone on the left there. Still jostling, still pumping. Look at him. Slides into protective and antiquarian. And I, I don't know how that's not a foul. And uh, again, the stewards, you know. Naira in particular, they get knocked a lot, and that's a, that's a good reason. They should have at least had an inquiry about that. But no question about it, Dornock was the best horse of the day. We thought he'd run better. I just didn't think he had enough in the tank to do it. And, uh, boy, what a damn, huh? Puka. The, the Derby last year with Mage and uh, the Belmont this year with Doorknock. So I guess the next one has to win the Preakness to treat the damn Triple Crown. But uh, And it was a damn Triple Crown this year. Uh, nobody is really taking control of this division. Uh, I think the Travers is going to be extremely well, interesting, to say the least. Is, uh, but uh, give all the credit to Doorknock and Danny Gargan. Uh, ran a better race than I thought he could. And uh, it just shows uh, that this, you know, this class is uh, really kind of a puzzler this year.